All right, folks, uh, we end on what some might consider a lighter note. Certainly, it's, it's not a lot about politics here. Uh, but we are joined right now by Michael Lohan, uh, Hollywood celebrity and recovery expert, father of Lindsay Lohan, and owner of Dream of Lindsay Lohan, and owner of Dream Recovery International, which is a, a, a fake. Hello, Michael. Hey, how are you guys? Good, good, good to talk to you, sir. Um, all right, um, you, you know, we every day, uh, whether it's on TMZ or, or any of the news, cable news uh, stations, uh, we see scandal, we see meltdowns by celebrities, we see drugs, uh, reported drug use, we see, you know, um, uh, violence, whatever it is. Uh, but let's focus on the alcohol and drug abuse. I mean, your own daughter, uh, yourself. Uh, we could go down a whole list here. Uh, now we have Justin Bieber. I don't know what his problem is exactly. But, but, you know, what happens to people when they're in the, the spotlight that way? Is that, is that the reason, or do they also have to have an addictive personality to go with it? Well, you know, that's a loaded question because, number one, the spotlight is, um, <laughs> it's all, look, it, the spotlight is where you cast it. Number one, people that are in the public eye, whether it's, I'm not a celebrity, I'm a public figure. Lindsay's a celebrity. Justin Bieber is a celebrity. Brittany Murphy, God rest his soul, and Heath Ledger were celebrities. It's only because they are in the public eye where people did people know about the drug and alcohol abuse. There's so many people out there that aren't in the public eye that have the same problems they do. They're just people. They're people in our society. They wind up. You see, it's all different reasons why people use. Do I think it's genetic? Yeah, some people have the genes. Sometimes it does get passed down. Sometimes it doesn't. But. One of the things that we do at our treatment center, which other people don't really do, is we really focus not on the addiction, but on the core issues and trauma that lead to addiction. Then you can understand why the person is using, what trauma set them off, what flipped that switch of addiction. Instead of sitting in a big book 12-step program and going over all these things on how to prevent relapse, you have to focus on what the problem is to begin with. But but so, they but they they do relapse. A lot of them do relapse, and and it's the repeat offenders. And and I mean, and you know, I don't know how I'm not picking on her, but with, you know, I don't know how many times your 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 daughter has been in trouble, and I don't know how many of those, are, to be honest with you, are, are attributable to relapses uh, or not. But uh, why why I mean, why were you unable to help her, or are you have you been helping her, and is she on the is she clean, or you know, is she a, could she be held up as an example of the work you do or not? I can stand on this 1,000% right now. Lindsay is in a better place than she has been in eight years. I just left two days of visiting her up in New York, and I am astounded at how well she's doing. I mean, she's suffering from an ear infection, a throat infection, and she's still, I mean, she's unbelievable. I can't believe how well she's taking things. She's treating herself the right way and getting better, both physically and mentally. And... Um, She's going to really springboard from here. All right, let me ask you, Michael, um, what, do, what do you think of a guy like Justin Bieber, a kid, right? A kid who started out as this, you know, real young kid. And then, you know, you, you, what did you think when you started to see the signs of the fighting? He gets out of the limo and then and starts to go after a, a bouncer or somebody. And then, and then all the other antics that have led to uh, where he is right now. Do you think he has a drug problem? I think he's got, I, I don't know what kind of a problem it is, and it would be wrong for me to say unless I actually did an intake or an evaluation on him or my people did, but he is acting out. There's no question about it. The, re the thing is, why is he acting out? How did this all start? Was because maybe his mom and dad aren't together anymore? That's what started Lindsay. It was our divorce right after the divorce is when she started to use, and she never dealt with that. And getting back to your question, why is she better now, and why did she go through so many programs? She finally got the right treatment. Um, I have to say that Richard Tate at, at Cliffside does a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. He's got a great program. It's not an AA program, and it's a lot like our model, except we have all spiritual component, which they don't have. Um, uh, but, it's a, you know, it, that's what, that was the difference for her. And I think that she addressed those issues on why she started using finally. And I think that's what Justin has to do. He has to find out why he's acting out right. like this, whether it's drugs, alcohol, or any other way. All right, Michael, uh, again, it's, re it's a, a Dream Recovery International. Uh, Michael Lohan, thanks for joining us, sir. Appreciate it. You guys are wonderful. Thank you very much. My pleasure. God bless you. Thank you. Good talking right. to you. All right, folks, you know, interesting. And it's not only celebrities who get in this kind of trouble. Uh, like he said, everybody in the real world, there's a percentage of people who do. We just hear about them more. But, you know. It's a question I don't have answers to. On the Steve Malzberg Show, Newsmax Television.